Assalamu alaikum, this is your computer science teacher, Sarfawar Akhtansari. Today, I am about to review my own workbook, which is for the syllabus 2023 and onwards. The students who are appearing uh, in 2022, they can also use this book to prepare themselves for the mocks and the panel terms. But basically, it is for the new syllabus 2023. So, this is a cover of a book. And uh, before uh, going further, I must uh, inform the students that before solving this workbook, they must study their course book along with the syllabus. If they study their course book, their syllabus, then they will be able to solve this workbook, right? So this is the cover page, as you can see. This is the workbook for P1, and the workbook for the P2 is also available. You may see entire description uh, such as how to purchase and where to purchase so you will see in the description go to the description check that out so this is a brief introduction about myself all right that this is a thanksgiving sort of that i thank my parents and almighty allah who blessed me of everything Okay, now here is the index chapter data representation, data transmission. Uh, another uh, uh, good thing about this book is that I have also solved the activities of the course book and is, uh, shared the answers in this workbook. So you may see Cambridge IGCSE and O level computer science second edition activities answer. So the course book activities I have solved and then I shared the answers in this book. So you may check it out. So here is the chapter number one, data representation, and the question one is a user uses a drone for outdoor photography, right? Drone's speed is 40 miles per hour, which is an average speed of a drone. You can see a drone here. The display on a remote control shows the following speed 40 miles per hour. So convert 40 from this figure uh, for zero into the 8 bit binary numbers. You can solve it here. You will be rewarded two marks for that. Now, following data shows speed in miles per hour, uh, miles per minute. So, two miles per minute. It's written here. So, you may take this figure two base ten into the hexadecimal, number. and you may solve this question over here. Okay. Now, next is uh, questions such as state the denari ASCII value of Pakistan. So, you may see. Pakistan written in the lower case, you have to convert this into the denari uh, format using the SQ values. In the same way, let's have a glimpse of another question that you may convert, computer converts the word VAP into the 8 bit binary number, right? It undergoes a logical shift two places to the right. So, write down the contents of the 8 bit register after the bits representing the word VAP as we move two places to the right. So you have to do it yourself. This is a uh, block of data that you can see over here. Okay, now convert your answer into denari. Convert this binary answer into the denari over here. Okay, now uh, next question is. There are many questions. Let's have a glimpse of the, this question. In the following diagram, W stands for the white and the B stands for black. So in the first row, W1 means white one, means one white color, and the B1 means one black color. In the same way, W3 means three white colors, and so on. So this is a heart, and you have to extract the data from the diagram. First two have been done for you. Means W1 means white one, B1 means black one. So you will see a couple of parts of, of this question. You have to solve this seven. Now next is the audio conversion. Formulas are given. Everything is in the book. Let's take this question. Look at the sound wave below that has been sampled. So from the graph, what is the sampling resolution? And from the graph, what is the sampling rate? 
So you may see it over here, the presentation of the question. All right. Uh, let's take another question just for the glimpse. Like state in detail what this packet structure contains. And next question is fill the missing contents of each of the following sections. So you have to put the content accordingly, right? So you may see many questions here for the practice. If you wish to achieve a static in your computer science paper. So next is let's take another question for uh, okay now this is a question that's done by the computer system a fresh installation of an operating system is being done so this is just a diagram sort of so you may see that the question is written here state memory management functions so you may write uh, the answers according to your syllabus. Another question is, all computer technologies will have hardware. As a result, hardware management is a significant part of technology implemented um, implementation. Typical hardware can include uh, personal computers, it could be a network server, or it could be a backup, storage devices, it could be printers, <laughs> photocopies, fax machine, and computer peripherals. So it states that it states the features of hardware management. So <clears throat> it is a pretty much interesting question for you to solve. And there are a couple of questions that you will you will see when you solve the questions you'll see in the book. So it is for everyone, for the teachers and for the students. Teachers can take the questions from the book to prepare the uh, mocks or the final term papers and the students can practice for their mocks exams right so there are many questions and at the end of the book you can see that the activities answers are here right so I have also shared the answer of it so you can see different activities answers along with the programming CD codes algorithms phrase tables programs along with the source code of course so you may see that so there are a number of codes solved in the high level language so you may use it in your programs it's, uh, teachers uh, can recreate these questions uh, remodule these questions um, according to their requirement they can modify their questions of the workbook so they can do many things with this stuff so uh, how to buy and where to buy you may see the link in the description and uh, this was a review a glimpse basically of my workbook and for the workbook too uh, kind, kindly subscribe my channel to watch the next video thank you so much Allah